love that. Oh, that's really cute. Ah, oh, welcome to Wholesome Hour. I don't think hour should be pronounced how it is, but it is that way. But we at this channel are going to call it the Wholesome Hour. Just to be fancy. If you're new here, hi, I'm Katie Sauter, wedding planner by night, engineer by day or the other way around. These are some cute sentimental ideas from wedding pros. So I'm part of all these Facebook groups and they have some really cute ideas on them. And I also snuck in some TikTok in here just because there's some really cute ideas on TikTok and everyone likes watching TikTok, right? right? But anyway, we are taking a break from hardcore drama to enjoy some wholesomeness. Stick around to the end for a bonus idea where the, maybe it's cute, but it doesn't really work. Sustainable wedding ideas. Oh, that's really cute. I love the little bag. <gasps> I love that. Okay, that is so smart because like people will actually use those little travel luggage tags. Oh, the fans are really cute. Ah, let's talk about that for a second. The fans are really adorable, especially if you have a summer wedding and especially if it's outdoors and you give them all fans to like fan themselves with. My cousin had a wedding. He had little fans on every single chair at the ceremony. It was super cute and uh, was wonderful because we were all sweat, you know. It's August in Pennsylvania and we're all like, oh. so definitely recommend that. Food is a good way to go for favors because if your guests leave your favors behind, which most favors are left behind, then at least you can enjoy your favors and your mountain of favors that you're likely to be left behind with. The fans are a really cute idea. I think people would love the, the luggage tag. I've never seen that before. I would love that. I think that is just, that is just kids. It's a toy. All right, let's watch the next one. Unfortunately, my father passed away when I was 16. My stepdad passed away almost two years ago. And then my poppy passed away in March of this year. And instead of having a memorial table set up at my wedding, there are little ways that I want to honor them. What is she going to say? It's really cute. I want to create my something blue out of an old t-shirt of my dad's and make it into my garter. Aww. My mom told me about this idea when I first got engaged and it has stuck with me since. It's been in my notes to do. I think that's such a cute idea. At the end of the day, when you're missing someone and it's it's really hard for them to not be there. Another way that I'm incorporating my dad at my wedding is I'm going to get his hand writing under the bottom of my wedding shoe so that in spirit he's walking me down the aisle and I'm going to take one of his old uh, cards that he wrote me that has his handwriting on it and get it put on the bottom of my shoe. I really like this subtle touch that I know that he will be with me in spirit on my wedding day but just to represent him I guess uh, on a day that he would have been walking me down the aisle. That is such a cute idea. I mean, that's her dad. The, the fact that he'd still be able to walk right down the aisle and everything. That's, oh, I can barely look up at my camera. Let's take a break from TikToks for a second and just go to some of the cute ideas that are from wedding pros. One of the planners asked, what are some super unique and sentimental things your couples have done during their wedding reception to showcase their love for each other to the guests? I have a couple that has been together since middle school, wow, 10 years, getting married this October. The bride really wants to find different ways to showcase all of the time they've spent together. She doesn't want anything cliche, yet isn't super creative and having trouble coming up with some ideas. Maybe, maybe it's a little harsh. I mean, not everyone is really creative. I don't blame her. This, this person's trying to help her, so we're not gonna, we're going to be nice to her. I've given her several and continue to look, but so far have had no success and would love to see some things you all have done. All right, let's see what the first one says. We had a couple have a video during their first dance. It showed all of their dates, memories, and special times together. Even had a few ceremony pictures at the end they were able to add. It was really cool. They also had photos in the cocktail space with little descriptions of each picture. It was done really nice. Oh, I wish that had like picture or video to go with it. I would totally add that as B-roll. If your venue has big TV, that would be a really cool idea. How many tables do they have at their reception? They can include a photo as each table number for their year together. So year one is table one, so on and so forth. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's really cute. 
Oh, but it sounds like they have 25 tables and they've only been together 10 years. So that's a really cute idea for like couples that have been together for a very, very long time before they get married or have a very small guest count. But that's really cute. The counter idea was they have 25 tables recreating 25 of their favorite memories together. These could be dates, vacations, something that they would associate with a warm feeling in their heart. Example, first memory is how they asked each other out or another is their favorite memory of 2023 where they traveled to Paris. Well, that's really specific. They can include knickknacks or photos in their centerpiece that represents that and a small description of why this memory means so much to them. It really shows them to take a trip down memory lane and allows their guests to see their love grow. Mm -hmm. We used their pictures as table numbers. Yeah, that's a cute idea. I really like that idea. Before we get into the other options, I have a shameless plug time for everybody. I have, in the description below, I have a wedding planning timeline. It's 12 months. It helps you plan everything from start to finish. All right, shameless plug time's over. All right, back to the cute ideas. We had this one wall where we had nothing to do and didn't want a photo booth backdrop, so we did a timeline of our relationship. I put the images in, but you could do a PowerPoint software as well. I had them printed on matte photo paper at a local print shop, and then I hung them with a ribbon. I bought the banner and corner florals online for super cheap. Oh, this is cute. Oh, that's a really adorable photo booth backdrop. Not every photo booth backdrop has to be like the gold sequin or curtain or whatever it is. It could be really something meaningful. I really encourage people to do that because your photo booth, it might not capture every image, especially in this one where it's like a really wide angle. I have a photo booth in my own business and it's definitely too wide for my photo booth, but I think this is a great way to show this is where you are to go for your photo booth. All right, let's check out a couple more TikToks. Coffee break getting caffeinated for y'all. All right, let's keep going. At one of the weddings I was in, my girlfriend did trivia where she had the DJ ask questions about the couple and the tables who got the questions right were released in order for dinner. So basically she made her guests fight for dinner, right? By answering trivia questions. <laughs> know your guests well. <laughs> That's kind of funny. My girlfriend's wedding, she did a first look with the bridesmaids. It was so sweet because none of us had seen her dress. First look with bridesmaids is very cute. That is adorable. But if they're getting ready with you, it doesn't really work. So I think it only, it, it just depends on, on how they're getting ready with you. My sister-in-law's wedding, she did wood flowers. I had no idea this was a thing. They are so cost effective and they look amazing. I do love the solo wood. Uh, I uh, have seen them and felt them personally and they're really pretty and a nice alternative way to have flowers if you're winning. Oh, I love that. Like having pictures and everything. You would you would definitely want to take time to like think that one through, but that's super cute. Oh my god. No. Chicken soup mug. Okay. <laughs> that's hilarious. I mean I feel like that works if you're like, we have a lot of mugs and we need to get rid of them. If that's you, and I happen to know a lot of mug collectors, that might not be a bad idea. A cute wedding idea that usually goes to waste. Providing people to dance in flip flops at the end of the night is such a cute idea. It's so yes. thoughtful, and it makes sense. Yes. The best is always look that, good, but that, man, people rarely that. use it. Flip flops are not that comfortable to dance in. People almost always prefer to dance barefoot. I've seen so many weddings where people are like, oh, that's nice, and then they proceed to get drunk and then dance barefoot. Consider saving yourself some money and don't do this. People will be fine. Oh, she is so right. I've seen this at weddings, and like, it really is a cute idea, but it's just not worth it. What do you do with them afterward? If no one takes them, you're stuck with a ton of flip flops. It really is an adorable idea. And it's like, this would be really cute in practice, but it just, some reason it just doesn't work. If you need a little break from hardcore wedding planning mode, check out this video, one of these directions here, where I go through a little wedding planner drama, where, uh, by the way, your wedding vendors are vetting you too. If you are in the wedding trenches, I do have a freebie wedding timeline down below, which can maybe help you in your wedding planning journey. Otherwise, if you're here just because you enjoy wholesome power with me, um, you know, that's cool too. 
I uh, appreciate you. Boop that like button, kiss that subscribe, but remember to keep it PG for me, okay?